Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to a sunny Tala Stadium where Dundalk take on Vitez Arnhem in the second leg of the Europa Conference League qualifier 2-2 from the first leg. Just in now, a bit early to be honest, um, so we'll, we'll catch the atmosphere as it goes on. Uh, big, big game. As far as I know, Bowls are two down at half time to Pauk, which is disappointing the other European game. No! But, um, not happy? But um, look, by the time the video comes out, you'll know the result there. But anyway, yeah, I mean, Vitez, Dundalk, Great pitch, good weather, it's warm as well, so uh, this is an interesting one. I think with Dundalk, um, Vinnie Perth will definitely want to shore up that defence. That defence in the last few, I suppose last all season really, has been iffy um, defensively. And you saw it against Vitez in the first leg, Vitez could have five or six in that game easy. Uh, Pats at the weekend, they conceded four again. So you want to tighten up and make sure they're tight, but at the same time having an attacking threat. Um, I'm really looking forward to this though. I'm going to back Dundalk, if I'm honest with you, to win this 1 0 and keep a clean sheet, win it 1 0 and get into the fourth round. Billy, what do you think? 3 1. 2. 2 B test. Party pooper. Um, there you go, guys. So I've gone Dundalk 1 0. He's gone B test 3 1. So uh, see you later. Offside goal for Dundalk. I don't know, it's hard to tell, but um, that was a pity. Would have been a great start. Jesus, the baby is a nightmare again. Be very disappointed with that, so one little details.
bollocks anyway. Right in half time I'd say as well. Oh, control and then shoot! Second half, guys. Uh, Dundalk could really do with a goal in the second half at any point, really, to uh, make it interesting. Obviously, Vitez not to score, and um, to give hope. But the start of the half, okay. But as I said, they're okay in the first half, um, and just cheap goals they gave away. Which is disappointing. But hopefully, you can do something here in the second half. It's two nil. Taking on his man as well, getting a strike in there, they're on for the save of the keeper. Can they get an equalizer? Oh yeah! Oh, bollocks! The problem is you need him in the box. He needs to get in there if he can. Good cross!
Back in the car, guys. So the match finished on Dock on Vitez 2. And look, it's another proud night and a proud campaign, I think, overall for League of Ireland football. Rovers went through tonight. Bowles were beaten 2 0 and Dundalk were beaten 2 1. Bowles and Dundalk lost by one goal over two legs against Vitez and Pauk, guys. Tonight, I honestly think Dundalk deserved more of the game. They went 2 down, made it difficult for themselves, creating a lot of chances, decent amount of chances, you would say. Their keeper made some excellent saves, particularly from Duffy. Um, I'm not sure if the goal was offside or not, the, the goal that Dundalk scored. I'm not really too sure. That's something that I'll have to see later. I couldn't see a thing there, to be honest with you, while you're vlogging as well. But look, all credit to Dundalk. I think they were superb tonight. Deserve better from the actual match, I think. Created chances, put them under pressure in the second half. All you can ask. Uh, great atmosphere. The fans were great. The players responded. And that's all you can ask, guys. Um, over two legs, just to lose by one goal. And I honestly, I believe they deserve more. They definitely deserved extra time there. Were clinical enough in the end, to be fair. Um, but... It was a very, very good performance, guys. And um, look, Dundalk can be proud of themselves. And um, despite them losing tonight, as I said, they've done the League of Ireland proud. So, guys, I'll leave it there. Please like the video, subscribe, and hit your bell notification button so you don't miss a video. And let me know what you think in the comments, guys, about this match and maybe about the other European games as well. Good luck. See you later.